Well, essentially, um, for me, uh, I have been regularly emailing. Um, I mean, it's turned into regular emails about every three months or so. My students, uh, all of my students from the past two years. Um, sort of. I mean, there, there's like, there's a way that you can, a student can request to be off mailing list if they want to and stuff. Um, and um, I call every quarter also. So it's been current and former students basically up to from the past two years um, with some exceptions and everything. And then every half a year or something, I call students from before that I didn't hear from, or I don't know if I'm reaching them or not. And, I, and the, part of the problem is this email list that I have, I just do it through Gmail <laughs> and Gmail has a limit to how many people you can send an email to at once. Um, mm. And so I've had to call that list because um, otherwise I, I'll, I'll get an error message saying you can't send an email to this many people at the same time. Mm. Um, so, so basically when the pandemic started, um, uh, the university was trying to adjust and make certain decisions really quickly or, but they weren't making them quickly enough. And um, I felt like there wasn't enough, there, there wasn't clarity with what the university administration was telling my students. And so I sent an email basically like in the first or second week of the pandemic. And when I say first or second week of the pandemic, um, our first or second week is earlier than everyone else's because I'm in Seattle. And so it hit the state of Washington before the rest of the US. And so um, um, I'm talking about basically first, second week of March of 2020, I think. Is that right? Yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm talking about. Because um, mm -hmm. the outbreak, the first reported case in Washington, I think was late February. Um, of 2020, um, and then it became clear that it was really, really contagious, and then the university was like trying to make decisions and everything, and um, and I emailed my students um, basically saying, I'm canceling courses, I'm canceling classes, uh, and I so I made this decision before, like one or two weeks before the university made the decision to do the same thing, and, and so I emailed my students and saying, hey, um, this, uh, just out of concern, because we don't know what it is yet, I'm going to cancel classes, um, just for our safety and everything. And then, um, and, but that email was basically just to my current students, right? I didn't know this would be a thing. <laughs> and then, and then it became a thing. Um, and I sent out an email like one or two weeks after that first one, with a lot more detail, basically just saying, okay, here's the deal. This is everything that I know about the, um, about COVID-19 that we're, that we're seeing now. And I was freaking out because um, I think in the New York Times and other, other news agencies were reporting that basically we were, the U.S. was getting, um, uh, the, the, the cases of people catching it was doubling every three days. Oh. Um, and if you know anything about like exponential mathematics or, you know, or that, that classic story about like somebody talking to a king and saying that you need to give me a grain of, grain of rice for each space on this chessboard, but then double it for each space. And by the end of the chessboard, the king is now bankrupt because, because of how much rice he owes this farmer or whatever. Um, that's what I was freaking out about. Every three days, it was doubling. <laughs> so the death rate was doubling every three days and um um you know conservative predictions were were basically we're going to hit half a million people um in like three months or something like that um so we're gonna we're gonna eclipse how many people died during world war ii uh basically in like three months um and then and luckily uh that actually didn't happen it did slow down a little bit um but I was freaking out. And so I emailed my students. And then since then, every basically every three months, about every three months, I, I email my students, just like, here's an update. Here's what's been going on. These are things I've been thinking about. Here's how we can support each other. I've noticed, or I, or I respond. A lot of it is like, um, um, 
me responding or feeling compelled that I have to I have to send out an email now because of something that just happened, right? Like when the Black Lives Matter movement happened. And again, Seattle was like a hotspot for that. You know, we had we had um, um, a neighborhood in Seattle um, that, um, you know, where we, we basically expelled the police from that neighborhood um, and and did a sort of anarchy, anarchist sort of um, um, governance of that neighborhood, of that block. Um, and it was totally awesome. And it was like, you know, it was like the hippie dream uh sort of and but like but it was very controversial and the rest of the U.S. had no idea what was going on they were getting all this fake news about it and everything so I felt compelled to basically email when that was going on and then um as certain things have been happening <laughs> basically since March of 2020 uh crazier and crazier stuff has been happening and so I, I keep emailing um and it hasn't really stopped yet the last one was about two months ago I think um, I probably should send one next week. I mean, honestly, because we just had Ro the Roe Ro versus Wade was overturned. Um, um, the Supreme Court voted that uh, there is no separation between church and state. And, um, um, you know, there's all basically all this and the EPA is now powerless, apparently. And, and so like, I feel like <laughs> I probably need to send out another email, mm -hmm. you know, um, just to reassure students that like um you know they shouldn't give up mm -hmm. essentially is what i'm trying to say um partly it's for me like i don't want myself to give up and so i'm writing i'm writing some words for myself um so that's that's what i've been doing and that, i think that's that's basically why like or, and i've been making public so like i i post these emails to my website um and that's why you aaron contacted me because you've been reading these emails and um and then we decided that this would make a good submission to Kairos. So that's what we're doing. Um yeah what, and I what have you been doing? Yeah. I well I was thinking about like I had read like a couple of your emails and then I I think I forgot about them for a while and then I came back to them and, and then I when I came back to them and read through read through them, you know, from from this from a more like present um position I was like damn it why wasn't I reading these during the pandemic because there was I felt from reading a lot of your letters a sense of validation but also reassurance just kind of like someone putting into words um, what was happening but also alongside reassurance um inspiration for hope about that perspective in terms of like a bigger picture in terms of history, how those things change. Um, so I, I kind of looking back at the past couple of years and the ways that I've supported my students, um, I wish that I had done, done more, I guess, of what you have been doing. 